Hi, this is Ryan Plisky of Bloodshed Death Bath Productions, and I am here with Groovy TV. Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Ryan Poliski, Bloodshed Death Bath, here at the Breckenridge Brewery in Denver, Colorado, talking about Denver Comic Con and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Oof. Oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful day. It's like Stratego or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, so tell me, tell me about this wonderful stuff you create. Okay, so we had a lot of these last year. So this is seven movies that we've made over the past ten years. Well, yeah, ten years, and um, these are these are short films that are pretty terrible, pretty hilarious, pretty stupid, but amazing in but themselves. Amazing. Yeah, but amazing. And uh, last year it was a phenomenal success for us at Comic Con. Really phenomenal. Yeah, I went in there thinking selling maybe two, three copies would be pretty good uh, outcome, but uh, we sold out of all of our movies and motel london especially was a fan favorite i think mostly because of the dice in the eyes of the mm -hmm. cover here people are like oh there's dice in there i need to get that and i'd be like it's terrible you love it and i'd get it so uh -huh. i was like well we got to do this another we got to do this another year and um so what we did mm -hmm. i don't know if you want me to just keep going on like this or do you want to <laughs> ask me questions no <laughs> just keep going this is about your wonderful work here sir i have a list of i can see the questions they're just like coming down it's like teleprompter style so anyways i brought this little box we had this last year this is our bloodshed death bath box and that's custom made and imported from uh, thailand or something yep it is, is that actually. ivory huh <laughs> is that carved ivory I'm seeing there? Yes, it's a carved ivory, which is actually a box that you can get from the post office. <laughs> so what you do is we'll do the unboxing here. It's an unboxing ceremony. Um, this last year, after the huge success, <laughs> we went ahead and made Motel London Part 2. Okay? Yes. We've taken the flesh melting masterpiece to a whole new realm <laughs> and honestly like there is so much flesh melting it's it's pretty incredible it's pretty it's pretty mind-blowing yeah well it and exploding yeah well this year what we did is this movie is this is a biggest budget movie that we've made so far so it's it, this is crazy because before we'd spend like maybe like five hundred dollars total for the whole thing like, this one yeah this one is a fifteen thousand dollar movie no from way. Bloodshed Death Bath. Can you believe it? No way. Yeah, can you believe that? How many minutes is it? Um, well, it actually says here on the back, it's got twelve melting minutes of serious magic. That's over a thousand dollars a minute. I know, right? That's incredible. Well, we have uh, monster makeup effects in Midian. I don't know if you know who Midian oh, is. Oh, oh, yeah, incredible. Yep. We hired her and her team to do some special effects on this one. So our direction was the melting faces thing. And we instantly hit on, well, Raiders of the Lost Ark. If we can do Raiders of the Lost Ark, that'd be amazing. And she's, she was like, yes. Nice. So that's where this came from. And there's also some exploding stuff too. So I needed that kind of, you know, budget. Mm-hmm. To make it look how it needed to look so it's it's pretty awesome i'm telling you right now best movie we've ever made i'm stoked which is still probably like a d minus <laughs> I've, I've actually watched all your movies and some of them multiple times oh yeah yeah really yeah i swear where you strapped down to a chair and so <laughs> <was Well>, <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> I no, I love doing these movies. It's been hilarious. It's mm -hmm. been fun. It's just like having a good time with some friends, making seriously su stupid movies. Our whole niche is just kind of weird. Doesn't make any sense. Is you'll you'll come away from these movies totally confused, but wanting to watch it again to maybe figure out why the hell that happened, and that's kind of our whole approach. So I mean, like we have this new insert in Motel London too. Wow. Here's the DVD, by the way, fantastic. 
And now the uh, no one's gonna be able to see this until Comic Con. Nobody's gonna be able to see it till Comic Con. Although mm -hmm. a select amount of people can go to Three Kings okay. on June tenth, and we're gonna have a premiere party. So we'll have we're gonna show a bunch of these films, and then we're gonna end it with uh, the first official screening of Motel London Two. You'll see it on IMDb. I mean, it's already up there. Okay, they have the official release date as June 10th because that's when it's happening. That is so cool. And, say, and then there's our little thing. That's what I was going to tell you. Movies so dumb, you will need them all to understand. <laughs> 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 so that's, that's our official flyer as well for the Comic Con this year. That is amazing. I'm so stoked to see it. Now, are there any other sequels coming up or new stuff uh, maybe in the works? There is new stuff in the works. Okay. So we did this. This is Horror House Fest, which was last year at Three Kings Tavern. We did a haunted house that had short films in it. You were in it. I was not. No, you weren't. That was my alter ego. He was in it, and it was a sh it was a haunted house that had short films in it. So it's mm. going to be kind of the same vibe, okay. except for this year, it's going to be a t different spin. Okay. So this is going to still happen in November. It's already booked. So we're going to be promoting that. And we're going to also be promoting um, the fact that we are going to be doing a uh, Hallsworth versus a Bear Part Two. Ooh. But I'm not going to tell you what it's all about yet because this is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I am so stoked to see this all in your booth at Comic Con. It's going to be amazing. Are you anywhere near Dan Crozier and his booth? We are right next to each other. How? What? What a coincidence! Yeah, can you believe it? So we are joining our booths. They're going to be connected. And um, there's going to be some serious weird shit going on. Nice. nice. So it's going to be gory. It's going to be bizarre. The Enigma is going to be there. Who, who's my, he's my best friend, by the way, forever. So BFF? BFF. So he was just staying at my house because we are so close. Did you spoon? Yes, we had to. It's part of the deal. <laughs> Part of the contract. <laughs> Part of the contract. But yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. I uh, went ahead and I'm just going all out this year. I just wanted to see what would happen. So the fact that we're doing this and then the fact that we're going to have all these, you can buy them all together, mm. is going to be a big deal for us. And so uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be right on, man. Well, I'm totally stoked. I want to see Motel London too. It's going to be badass. Key to the city shake. This is Groovy. I'm here with Ryan Poliski, Bloodshed Deathbath, talking about Denver Comic Con 2014. Key to the city. Thank you for your time, and sorry for having to watch the movies. Now let's throw stuff at Dino. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.